Today I'll show you a delicious way of using up any leftover sourdough starter. This is especially useful for when you are feeding your starter every day and you don't know what to do with the discard. Or maybe you built a leaven for your next bake and it overproofed and you don't know what to do with it. There you go, just add it to some pancake mix. These sourdough pancakes have very unique flavor and they are most definitely better for you than regular pancakes. So let's get to it. You'll need a pan, non-stick ideally, some scales, spatula, a whisk. I'm gonna use a jug for pouring my pancakes, but you can use a ladle. And of course, you'll need a bowl to mix it all in. Now to the ingredients. You'll need a sourdough starter, of course. You'll also need some flour, some milk, some melted butter, an egg or two, sugar, salt, bicarbonate of soda, maybe some vanilla paste, that's up to you. You'll need some oil for frying, and then your favorite toppings. I'm going to use some berry compote on my pancakes, but the toppings are totally up to you. You can use honey, maple syrup, bacon, whatever you like. Right, let's get to making pancakes. Get your bowl and add all of your wet ingredients. The milk, the eggs and the butter. The vanilla paste, if you're using that. Then of course add your starter as well. Follow that with the salt and the sugar, and then give it a good whisking. You want to whisk to dissolve any large salt flakes and sugar crystals. And then add your flour and your bicarb. And at this point, depending on the state of your starter, it may be stiff, it may be very loose and runny, so you might need to adjust your recipe. If it's very thick like this, you want to add more eggs more milk. I have full details of this down in the description. You basically want your pancake batter to be quite runny so that you can pour it. That makes a nice light pancake. I mean most of you know what pancake batter is anyway. So add all of your ingredients, give them a good mix. You want everything to be nice and smooth and with no lumps. Now you can use a ladle to portion these out in your pan, but I prefer to use a jug, it gives me more control. You want to cook these on a medium to high heat. Should take around 2 minutes on each side. And once your pan is nice and hot, add some oil. Swirl it around a bit, and then on with the first pancake. I would suggest to start with one because, you know, the first one's always messed up, right? Go ahead and ladle in your mix or pour it in like I do. Always remember to stir your mix before you pour it because it might have settled. If it sits for a few minutes, it'll be thicker on the bottom and loose on the top. This recipe will make 10 little pancakes like this. It'll be enough for two very hungry people or even three, if they're not as greedy as we are. So you wanna cook the pancake until you see these bubbles forming on top and starting to pop. Then you know it's flipping time. You can check the bottom, see the color underneath. A non-stick pan is really your best friend in this case. So once you see the nice bubbles popping, just flip it over, give it another couple of minutes, and your first pancake will be done. And amazingly so, I didn't mess it up. In fact, the first one came out better than the rest. Right, that's it. That's a test pancake done. Swirl your oil around the pan again and pour some more. And now you can do two or three at once, depending on the size of your pan. And always remember to stir your pancake mix before pouring it. It'll give you a nice even consistency between all of your pancakes. Now sourdough discard can be used in many different ways. You can make some waffles, you can add it to crackers, you can even add it to a cake. Might make some videos on these in the future. But for now, pancakes are just super easy, super quick to make, and a very good way of using it up. And that's it, we've used up all our mix. We've got 10 pancakes, a nice little stack. They look awesome, right? I can tell you that they taste amazing as well. They're super fluffy and light, full of bubbles, and have a nice sweet and sour flavor to them. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. 
thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.